3D boxing, he was one of Texas's favorite fighters, pork chop, Alejandro Guerrero. Uh, how's it going? How's camp going? How you feeling? Uh, feeling great, man. I mean, we really switched it up this time and uh, did it different. It made weight a couple of days before weigh-ins. You know, I was already walking around weight, ready to go, sparring. My last I was going to ask, you don't look yeah. too drained. You don't look all sunken no, in. You look I'm, good. I yeah. great, actually. I actually had a sip of water not too long ago, and I was, I'm good, you know? Right on, right on the money. So it, it's been it's been a long road, and you you've been in with really high level competition. Uh, this is Jalen Walker's first fight with top rank. You know he's got big plans. How do you plan on on you know ruining his plans and, and changing his plans tomorrow night? Well, like like I said, man. I mean, we really did it different this time. Uh, the sparring sessions we were having, we were doing four minute rounds. It's you know, probably probably in the best shape I've ever been in all my fights. I wanted to ask you, you've, uh, you know, you have a following in, in, in Irving, in Tech, in, in, in Dallas area, in Houston. You got fans all over the place. You're gonna have, you're gonna have a chair section tomorrow night in Corpus. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I got family members here, so this is where they, they work, they live here, and. People from Dallas, from Houston, they're gonna all show up here. So I remember your cheering section in Dallas from when you yeah. fought uh, the day before the Errol Spence Mikey Garcia fight. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, this is gonna be probably three times more than that, so we should have a packed house tonight or tomorrow. So you've had so many close decisions that have gone the other way, so many competitive yeah. fights, so many close fights. What do you gotta do tomorrow to to earn that? Does it not just make a fun fight, but actually, you know, just so, make. So, and I go back to saying we did it different, right? Uh, I was lacking a lot of pressure, you know, I was, uh, I'm a pressure fighter. I'm supposed to go in there and take care of business. And uh, these past couple fights, I haven't been doing that. And uh, for this one specifically, we're going to try to turn it up a little bit and uh, just continue going forward, going forward and be the dog that I am, you know. Every fight you've been in is a fun fight. It's an entertaining fight, yeah. and, th and that's why you keep getting calls and you keep getting on big cards. How important right. is it for you and your career to win tomorrow night? It's very important, man. I mean, uh, it's either I make it or I break it. You know, this is probably probably the, the, sh the shot that I have, the opportunity that I have to either call it quits or just continue going. You know, I got a family now and I got to take care of them. I got a job, so it's a. Uh, I wanted to ask you about that. You're, yeah. fighting, you're fighting for more than just yourself now. You, yeah. you have a. Is it a little boy? Yeah, I got a little boy now. What is that? Two? He's a uh, four already. Oh, he's four. Yeah. Oh, he's four. Time flies. So you got that. You know, you got that, that going for you. Um, assuming everything goes well tomorrow night. It will. 130 pounds is a, is a loaded division. There's another world champion from Houston at 130, Oshaki Foster. Okay. Is that someone you kind of look at and be like? Uh, I we can gotta get, get there. through these uh, get th steps first, you know. Overcome this fight. And then once that happens, then we'll see what happens later down the future. You got a lot of fans. Looking forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow night. I'll let everyone know where they can find you on social media. Uh, Porkchop underscore 214 for Instagram. And uh, just my name on uh, Facebook. That's it, man. God bless, champ. Thank you. Thank you.